We're live on Facebook and I'm here with Epiphany Jordan. Super excited to share with you all her Kickstarter project, Somebody Hold Me, an amazing book. I think it's the first of its kind out there about platonic touch, about accessing platonic touch with people nearest to you, right? And how to do that. So Epiphany, uh, tell us a little bit about the book, the Kickstarter, what you hope to accomplish. Let's start there. So, hi. Thanks for having me, Janet. Um, it's nice to be here with you. Uh, okay, so I wrote the book. I've the, the book was designed for single people, although it's not necessarily just for single people. But I ended up writing the book after I got out of a five-year relationship last year that had a lot of touch in it. And that combined with the work that I've been doing with Karuna Sessions for the past five years, I've just come to realize, as you probably have too, that there's a total lack of touch in the world. And one of the things that I really, really, really noticed was that people don't touch their friends. They don't touch people they already know because they don't want it to be misconstrued. They're afraid of rejection. They don't know how to do it. So the book is um, a resource that helps you add touch to your existing relationships in a way that's very sane and structured and safe where everybody kind of knows what's going on and is on the same page. Although a good part of the book too is just talking a little bit about the culture surrounding touch and you know kind of how we got to this place and how we've structured our lives in the 21st century so that you know a lot of us are running around being touch deprived and you know that's single people for sure but it's also people who are in romantic relationships, you know, being in a romantic relationship does not guarantee that you're going to get your touch needs met. So there is a void. You know, I think what we've done is we've gone from like, okay, so we know we need touch. And so people have avoided like, because they don't know how to navigate it or they, maybe they'll fall into cuddle party and they've done the group thing. Right. Or, or the other option has been professionals like myself who can do this, but there really has been this huge void. I'm like, okay, but I don't want to go to a professional because I don't think I'm there or maybe I don't, I can't afford it. So it's not accessible yeah. to me. And mm -hmm. then color party can be, that's a bunch of strangers and maybe they don't feel comfortable moving in that circle. So yeah. what you're offering, I mean, it's, it's for the person who, okay, first, let me just think about it. Like, let me figure this out in my mind. Let me read about it, feel into it. Yes. And then maybe like do step by step, like, yeah, gain confidence um, for those who are the literary choice, so it's a book. Um, what's included? What are the different chapters? What can they expect to find in your book? Okay, so uh, that's a great question. The first part of the book is a bunch of different stuff. There's, you know, reasons why we don't touch each other. There's um, kind of an analysis of our culture around um, how we live. Um, you know, I mean, even if you live with your family these days, you're in a big house. Um, you know, there's all these different things vying for our attention, um, you know, and then there's the, the fact that, you know, almost half of us in the United States are single right now. Um, uh, maybe not half of us, but half of, half of the people, almost half the people in the last census check the single box. Um, what else? I talk about uh, the physiological benefits of touch and oxytocin, why it's so good for your health. Um, I talk about uh, some of the power differentials, the, the things around consent, you know, it's like we've got this huge fear of, around touch right now. And so it's like we've kind of pushed it all into this place where all touch is bad um, and we haven't left any room for good touch or, you know, thinking, thinking about what that even looks like. So I included a section on how to design your touch relationships. Uh, the second part of the book is a step-by-step -step guide for people to add touch to their existing relationships. It's meant to be done in a group setting where it would be like you and three of your friends. And part of the reason that I'm doing that is because I want to, I want people to take touch out of the realm of the sexual and bring it into the social. You know, I mean, if you look at monkeys they're constantly grooming each other and you know touching each other and we as humans used to do a lot more of that these days we kind of outsource those services to our hairdresser or our massage therapist or 
um, the doctor, which isn't really that much of a fun type of touch. So the second half of the book takes you through step by step from how you would email somebody about it. Um, you know, like emailing your friends and getting your group together, um, creating boundaries, safe space, what kinds of, um, you know, how to set up your space. And then there's a series of other, well, first you do a series of exercises on negotiation so that people have that. And then there's a series of exercises that go from, you know, very distant to very close. Like the first exercise is where you're just touching the other person's hand. And even though that's a one-on-one -on -one thing, you still do it with two other people sitting next, you know, sitting next to two or more who are doing the same thing so that it's, you know, again, it's a, a social thing and there's not as much being misconstrued. So when you go through all these exercises, there's, and then there's info about aftercare. And then the last part of the book is about how to, um, use touch to respond to various life circumstances and situations, you know, whether that's if somebody is grieving because they've experienced the loss or, you know, for somebody who's dying, you know, for elderly people, all kinds of different stuff. And then the, the last, well, not the last chapter, because I added a couple new ones. There's a chapter on how to share touch with strangers where I offer tips if somebody does want to go to a cuddle party or see a professional cuddler so that, you know, they are down on the etiquette, you know, they know kind of what to look for. And then the last chapter of the book is for people who don't like to be touched because there's a lot of people out there like that. And it helps you um, understand better on how to set your boundaries, especially if you're in a group of friends who's super touchy feely. I know several people like that who just cringe every time they go someplace because they're like, I don't want to, I don't want anybody hugging me here. Uh, so that's, uh, that's kind of the outline of the book. And um, the people who've read it have uh, really enjoyed it. It's a, it's a fun, fast read that'll make you think differently about a lot of um, your relationships and, and your relationship to touch because it's something that we don't, really think about and kind of take for granted and it's something that is really important to be aware of in this day and age when there is so much suspicion around it with the me too movement and things like that uh you know you hear people saying that now they're afraid to have any sort of physical contact with anybody at all for fear of getting arrested or accused and it's like let's let's talk about how to do this right we all we all know how to do it wrong and yeah. Be able so, to draw some clearer boundaries. 